All right, let's take a look at another one of these questions about finding the area um, in between or below or above an area under the curve. In this case, it's the hourly wages of maintenance crews of airlines. And what they've told us is that we've got a um, mean salary whoops, of $20.50. And that the standard deviation of this uh, group is three dollars and fifty cents so the first thing that we're going to do is it's going to wants us to know what's what is the area between twenty dollars and fifty cents and twenty four dollars an hour so i automatically know that the twenty dollars and fifty cents right here is the mean twenty four dollars an hour is the x value so i'm going to convert twenty four dollars into a z-score by simply substituting it into that formula. And what that's going to do for me is it's going to help me determine what area of the curve falls in between the mean of $20.50 and this value right here where we've placed $24. So I've simply gone into the normal distribution table and I converted that value of $24 into a z-score. The z-score that I came up with was 1.00. So again, I go into the table. In the column, I find the 1. I go to the row to find that second decimal place. I'm actually looking for that little decimal place right there. And I determine that the Z value is 3.34. So what I was looking for was I was looking for the percentage or the probability that the salary of one of these people is between $20.50 and $24 and we determined that $24, we just kind of arbitrarily put it there. And because it wants to know what's the probability that it's between, I'm looking at the area between the curve, between the mean and this value right here. So it's this area of the curve right here. And we know from having calculated our z-score that it's 34 0.13%, which as you can see, it shows the area in between the mean and the value of 24 as 0.3413 or 34.13%. So let's see what happens when we go to more than. All right, so the next piece of information it asks us for is what is the probability that it's more than $24? Well, we just determined that the area between the mean of $20.50 and $24 was 34.13%. So we know that this area in here is 0.3413. So if I now want to know what is the probability that they make more than $24 an hour, then what I'm really looking for is I'm looking for the unknown value of this area of the curve right here. Well, what do you already know? You already know that the area above the total area above the curve to the right of the mean is 50%, don't we? So you don't even need to count, you don't even need to convert anything to a z-score here because you've already done the hard part. Because since we know that this entire half of the curve is 50% and you already calculated for me that the probability that the wage fell between the mean and 24 was equal to 34.13 percent 
if I know that this entire area here is 50%, then all I need to do is say the whole half is 50%. I know that this area right here is 34.14%. So if I subtract that out, then the rest of the area under the curve has to be 15.87% on this side. Because what I know is I know that if I cut this side of the curve up into two pieces, that the two pieces have to total to 0 0.50 or the 50% of the data that always falls to the right of one of these curves. So all I have to do is say, all right, in this little section right here, is 34.13%, which means this part right here has to be 15.87%, because when I take the two of them and add them together, it always has to represent that entire 0 0.50 or 50% that falls to the right to of the mean of one of these normal distributions. All right, let's look at one that says less than. All right, so now if I want to find what's the probability that they make less than $19. Again, I'm going to identify generally where that $19. I know that it's going to fall to the left of the mean. So we're going to put our 19 over here because it falls to the left of the mean, and this is the negative side of the curve. When I calculate my z-score, I get exactly what I expect, which is a negative z-value. I simply use the table in the back of the book the way I have before, and I look up and find 0.43 in the table. In the table, it tells me that the z-value is 0.1664, or 16.44%. But what is that actually identifying for me in the curve? Well, what it's telling me, remember, is that between the z value of negative 0.43 and the mean, remember it identifies the area between the z value and the mean. And so what that z value tells me is 16.64% of my data falls right in here. But the question says less than 19%. So the part of the curve I really want to identify is this part. Well, I'm going to use exactly the same rationale that I did to find the greater than. And that is that I know that from between the mean and the end of that curve is 50%. So if I cut it up and I say that 16.64% of it is here, and I need to know what percentage, percentage is here, because remember this is the part that's going to be less than my x equal to my $19, then I can apply the exact same reasoning that I did just a minute ago. And that reasoning that I applied before was simply saying that this entire half of the curve is 50% of the data, that I knew that when I calculated my z-score, it told me that 16.64% was here, that remember I've got a total of 50% here, so the 50% minus 1664 means that 33.36% of the data has to fall here because this part, because the one thing I know is that this part of the curve here plus this part of the curve here will always add up to the total of the 50% of the data that I have on the left side of the normal curve. So um, let me work another one for you.
and i'll um see you guys around the ranch.